Hey guys, welcome. We're in Merida, Yucatan, and we are here at Policia y Placas. We're here to change the ownership on the van that we bought <laughs> almost a year ago. Uh, we never got the ownership papers done because it's such a headache here. It's crazy the headache. It's so problematic. They need so much documents and different things. It's just a just a nightmare. So we came. We came a few times, and we tried it. And this was missing. That was missing. This was missing. After that, we went traveling. So we were traveling, and we just didn't get around to doing it. Now we're back in Merida again, and um, the license and everything expires on this thing on the end of the end of December so we need to get it done before we leave on the next trip because we're going to be leaving on another trip very very soon so here we are here at this big government building that has no parking but we came in a, in a taxi because um, the van broke down something with the coil so they are fixing it right now and um, so we didn't have a vehicle so we're here this is called Policia Licencia y Placas that's what they call it so we get your license plate vehicle registration things like that and it's a long line it's 7 a.m. there's already a line they don't open until 8 but what can we do and usually when you come here this parking lot is a mess right now it's still quiet because it's early but usually this car is going round and round and round it's horrible so the one who went in is where are you Maria I <laughs> let her deal with the papers and we hired a facilitator a facilitator is somebody who um, he helps you with the paperwork because he has the experience of doing it and since we have all the papers in order we, we have all the papers he checked it so it only costs us 500 pesos for him to come here and make sure that everything goes smooth so that's a good deal if you don't have then you're going to be paying about 1800 2000 papers 2000 pesos but we have all the papers he says so he said it'll only be 500 people come here to register their motorbikes look at this mess everybody's on a motorbike here people spend a lot of time in this place too much time actually the motorcycle parking lot right now is empty there's like nobody here nobody at all this is packed so tight damn they even got it you heard that they even have alarms on the motorbike across the street here is a shopping mall I should go take a walk over there I don't think they're open yet I'm gonna wait till 8 8 a.m. I think they'll be open by 8 a.m. I go take a look at the mall so I'll see you in a little bit guys I'm hungry and then um, I'm walking around here I know I know once there's a place like this here where you see all these cars around I know there will be food for sale and so I'm walking around and I'm sniffing with my nose and across the street there there is food there's a little bench I can sit down maybe have some tacos ¿Dónde se puede cruzar? ¿Cualquier parte aquí? Okay. Gracias. So I gotta look for a crosswalk. And the policeman said there's one right up there. He said, start walking. If they don't want to stop for you, he said, I'll come and I'll stop traffic. So I'm gonna go have myself some tacos. Yeah, I hope they have tacos. I don't know what they have gonna find out there in a very little bit but well I am lucky look not okay here comes one really fast slow down bro don't kill me man 
it's my day to cross the street easy as that I hope they got some good to eat here I could use some street food what do they have bread I hope they have something else besides bread bueno dias que venden tacos si sí. oh. a como son a 15 a 15 ok dame tres de lechón y tres de cochinita por favor so i'm gonna get myself three lechón and three cochinita tacos here street food and they got coke zero so i am set man handmade food handmade goodness right in front of policia y placas or whatever the hell it's called like they got some modern buildings here in merida look at that that over there is a shopping mall got a big hotel in the back this here is more in the north oh okay there's a sign that says galerias merida this is more in the north part of merida this is where the rich hide but it's not the area that i want to live in they say they have power outages here all the time because everybody got air conditions running so it draws on the power system where we live is the local regular neighborhood and there are never power outages very very rare that has happened because you know the people aren't running those acs all day long so let's go see these tacos see like they make nice sandwiches here look at that nice nice sandwiches and they have a charcoal fire where they toast the bread no, seis, en tres de lechón y tres de cochinita con todo so I'm gonna get three lechón and three cochinita check it out you see how they do the plates here they wrap them in a plastic bag see, these are all made by hand a little bit of onion pepper sauce good stuff good good stuff yeah here the plates they wrap them up in plastic like this because um you know there's no facilities for washing plates so you wrap them up in plastic and when you finish eating you throw away the plastic and you got a clean plate underneath They're going to do the lechon. See the lechon right down there. I'm so glad I got food. Yeah. Wow. This is gonna hit the spot. Let me grab myself grab myself a coke zero man this place is hopping looks like the solid oh no they got regular coke too but mostly coke zeros because since people don't drink coke zeros here in this country I'm glad they bought and I get to enjoy them I got a nice chair there to sit down se ven ricos gracias Oh, sí, chilito en la cita. La mejor cochinita de Yucatán. Sí. Dos tacos me falta para llevar. I should have had them put the hot sauce inside while they're rolling it. Because I don't like opening up my food. Once it's been rolled. I think what I'll do, I'll 
See, because you see, it's a mess here, and I got a one hand. What I'll do is the hot sauce. I just pour it on top. good let me get a chair to sit I also have to watch in these low tents and that I don't bash my head open the warrior Maria is over there and I am here and this is my breakfast spot perfect absolutely fantastic yeah and we try this out see this is the one i took apart to put in the pepper and now i made a big mess and so that's why i don't like to unroll my tacos after they've been rolled by the professionals usually i tell people when i get them in cores out how i usually tell them man, put the pepper inside please Yeah, man, this thing nice. But need to go up on the next side, second the sun. Can move across, yeah. Path. The path. I don't get so dark, you know, when I eat, yeah. Not better yet. I'm gonna stand here and eat. Have a little table, look. Fine dining Mexico at its best. Mm -hmm. Tiene servilleta? Sí, hay, aquí está. Aquí está. Acá hay chilito, acá hay servilleta. Gracias. Wow, they can put the piece of chicharron inside. Look at that. This is the one I made a mess, it fell apart. If I get some more, I'm gonna ask them please put the pepper inside for me while you're making it. They're pretty good. But Belize tacos still better than this. Tacos uh, Noemi the Corza Market or the Los Viejitos in Corza Market better than these but this is still good look at the world going by it's busy well I gotta turn off the camera a little bit but I got four tacos left and I got my Coke Zero here in my high class dining table later on I'm gonna sit here relax chill out enjoy the food mm. look here come the buy event bus they actually stop for people they have a very fancy bus system in the city very very good people still wearing face masks hey man it's almost 2025 time to ditch the mask see this is the vibe end bus this is the city bus here in Merida very nice but anyway four tacos to go no more lamping up see you in a little bit well i'm back uh, i i ordered two more tacos so i had a total of eight tacos one coke zero see 
black label coke zero it was great really really good came up to 100 and 45 pesos 145 pesos for everything it was a good meal I am full right down there right across from licencias y placas right here by the bus stop and let me show you why I wear black t-shirts when I travel vlog here I already poured the taco juice all over my shirt I made a big mess of my nice clean shirt that is why I wear black t-shirts all the time it got just so much better for me when I wear these light colored clothes even this is dark but look at that look at that mess I'm just a pig I eat I didn't even see when it fell on me I just look at my shirt and damn my shirt is dirty so that's why I do what I do take a little walk down here have a seat there's no place to sit around here then I'm what's back here can't see have there's no place to sit here I go back by the taco place I put on my drone view what can we see I hear like machinery or something back there I can't see anything though because bushes see the bushes are high can't see a thing uh, what would the world do without coke zero nice garbage cans here I'm saving the bottle cap but these bottle caps are supposed to have a prize so I'm saving them sugar free traveler he told me save all the bottle caps so that's what I'm doing so I found a little spot here I can sit down watch the world go by Ta-da! nice place to sit I wish I would have a thing to lean my back but hey what the heck just to cool off a little bit uh, yeah very good yeah so I'm um, the Volkswagen van the coil or something went out the guy's working on it but he couldn't get it fixed in time so we came here by um, ride sharing or what they call uber that kind of stuff they have here in mexico they have uber they have dd and they have one called indrive so i checked i checked on him um, who was it dd dd was charging me a hundred and no 222 pesos to bring us to this location so what you do you open up all the apps and check all them uber will charge me 285 pesos but they have one called indrive indrive you name your price and it's up to them to accept it so i typed in 100 and 50 pesos and the guy accepted it right away and in eight minutes he picked us up at the house and brought us here look at this place awesome big buildings yeah so that's how you do it that's how you save some money right don't just take the first app uber sometimes uber is more expensive sometimes dd is more expensive and indrive most of the time has a better deal so i open up all three apps and i type where i'm going i get the price from all of them 
and then I'll click on one like I did the Didi at 150 pesos I clicked on that one to see if he will accept and if he doesn't accept well then hey another chair another bench more garbage so I picked the one that I think will accept or give me the best price I click on it if they accept me then I just turn the others off and go through with ordering the ride that's how you save money if you didn't know now you know 150 pesos that's it's almost 19 pesos to a US dollar so that tells you roughly how much it is and the tacos were 15 pesos each 19 pesos one US dollar so less than a US dollar one taco almost two dollar Belize nearly nearly two dollar Belize but no quite uh, motorcycle police here the guys are cleaning up a yard Merida Yutan I'll walk a little further and see what I can find see if there's anything up here I've driven through here many times I've never walked so I don't know what it's like but I know that this is the fancy part of the city Uh, fancy hotels here, Hampton Inn, Holiday Inn Express. There's a lot of hotels here in Merida. There's another hotel near the mall. Well, there ain't too much. Ain't too much to see here. I wonder how it's going with where are you Maria in the licensing and transfer office we went early so hopefully she won't be long hopefully the attend her and hopefully we get the job done oh, wow. well let me head back in that direction I might take a little walk into the mall if they're open I'm gonna stop at the police thing they do have a washroom there so that's good I can go take a leak because otherwise you're screwed here because there's no gas stations or anything I don't know what this parking lot is for there's some big building no idea what they do there Hey guys, I'm back. I just went into the building behind me there. Use the washroom, have a leak. And um, I'm gonna go across here to the mall. It's eight, what time is it? Let me check the time. And let me get across the street first. The traffic has stopped. I don't want them to be parked. I'm standing on side road looking at the phone like a dumbass, you know? Piss people off. Yeah, so the time. Let me check the time. It is 8.41 in the morning. So I'm going to take a walk over to the mall over here. See if maybe they're open. I'm not sure if they're open or not. I think it's a mall. It says Galleria, so I think it's a mall. Walk in, look around, see what they got. There's a bunch of cars parked here already, so either they're employees or the mall's busy. Never been to this one here. Let me tell you, Mexico has some amazing 
shopping malls. I mean, it beats anything in Canada or United States. So here, shopping mall is luxury. It's where the rich hang out, you know. So their malls are nice. The regular folks, they go to the market. But here in this country, if you think you got a little bit of money, it's mall time. Oh, there's a bench I can chill out. If the mall is not open, let's find out. It is open, I think. No, it's not open yet. See the door? It opens at 11. 11 in the morning. Look at that. No. I guess I'm gonna just sit on my phone. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a few 360 degree photos and I'm gonna upload it to my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page dedicated to only 360 degree photos. Link is up there. It's called Doug P Vlogs 360. Check that out. And I have my other Facebook page, which is about the vlogging, giving you new videos that are coming out, photographs, stuff like that. That is just Doug P Vlogs. So check it out. And then let me take a couple. 360s here for you guys for you guys and I'll upload it right now see you in a bit guys it's now 10 a.m. I should more you Maria that in they took the papers and then um, they went to the back office the mall here not open yet Maybe it is. See people inside. I'm gonna take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Está abierto. Oh, okay. okay. So it's not open yet until. 11 a.m. I don't know. Anyway, let me walk back over there to the police and licensing department. Then I'm going to go across the street to where I ate the tacos. Get myself some more, not tacos, get myself a Coke Zero. Yeah, I've been sitting out here in front of the mall. Just, you know, uploaded some 360 360 degree photos to my Doug P vlogs 360 on Facebook load some pictures there doing a bit of reading yeah not much just sitting around I had a nice bench there with with a uh, back to it so I could actually lean my back and relax but I'm getting bored there's a lot of cars here, but the mall is closed, which is weird. The, the security told me the cafeteria is open. So all these people going in there to eat or See, there's a whole bunch of people sitting outside. Maybe they're waiting for the mall to open. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. See, all standing around. A lot of people everywhere. I'm not sure what's going on but if I'm still here at 11 yeah I'll walk in and take a look but besides that I had enough of this nonsense try not to get run over they seem to be well educated here at this crosswalk since this is the rich part of the city if you go to the poor parts of the city yeah you're gonna get your ass run over let me walk through the motorcycle section check this out remember I told you the motorcycle section gets really busy look at this is this crazy 
what it's just nuts here how many motorcycles they have parked here and if you're way in there how are you gonna get out you're pretty much stuck <laughs> wow look at that I walk from the other side so you can see look at that motorcycle madness motorcycle madness here at the licensing office here license plate and registration office police office here in Merida crazy so I'm gonna head out I'm going across the street there where I had the tacos right over there get myself a coke zero sit down relax Estoy cansado, me fui a sentar allá, Ajá. comí mis tacos, senté allá, pero voy a tomar una coca. ¿De dónde viene? ¿De qué, de qué lugar viene? De Quichatuán. Ah, de Chetumal. Sí, pero originalmente de Canadá. Ah, se ve, se ve. Sí, y, y Belice. Ah, sí. No puede ir a la Pero ya me cansé, pero ella, ya me mandó mensaje, sigue allá. <laughs> The cop says, F.A. boss, he says, aren't you tired? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm tired, but nothing I can do nothing I can do I just gotta wait you know it's ridiculous here how complicated it is to transfer the ownership of a vehicle in Belize in Belize you just go into the licensing office sign the paper pay the fee and if there's not a bunch of other people doing it you're out of there within a few minutes in Canada I sold my pickup that I had there you the guy who is buying it he brings a paper you sign that paper at your house he gives you the money he, you sign the paper give him the truck your vehicle give him the keys and he's gone he goes into the licensing office and um, he gets it transferred also takes 15 minutes half an hour max usually within 15 minutes done here in Mexico talking about a nightmare I had to get for our van our Volkswagen van it's a 1999 I had to get well I didn't have to get they, they have it because it's it's needed here I have the original document of the very first person who ever bought that vehicle back in 1999 who bought it brand new and you have to have that on hand and then any other people who own it you have to have their documents that they owned it also why who knows do I care who owned the vehicle in 1999 but obviously they do so you gotta take all that in oh you need a police record also you know they have so many police records so many police checks here how come they can't catch all these bad guys you know who I'm talking about they have your fingerprints for everything they even do a retina scan I went to one thing they did a retina scan a zzz, like your eye like that it's like and and there's still you know all the criminal crap that's happening around here still going on complicated but anyway yeah it, it's a stack of papers like that to change the ownership of any vehicle that you buy here you need right from the very first owner to you crazy 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 whoa look this is the buy event bus 12 pesos takes you around once you don't get off the bus it's 12 pesos when you get on the bus the second time it's free and then the third no, the first time you pay the second time it's 12 pesos again and then the third time it's free but you can go like all over all over it but anyway I'm going to get a coke zero guys I need a coke zero really bad I'm glad they have a washroom over there I went to take a leak already but it's ridiculous here changing ownership on a vehicle totally stupid yeah regular say 
Necesito mi coca. No hay más cero. No, ya no me queda cero. Me lo queda azúcar. ¿Qué? No me va a matar. <risa> Solo me va a engordar. ¿Cuánto es? 25. 25. No puede dejar una de tomada. Sí, yo soy adicto a las Coca-Cola. <risa> todos, todos. <risa> Pero yo dejé de tomar estos con azúcar, ahora tomo solo sin azúcar. Es más saludable y, y mi estómago bajó con el, con el gimnasio, sí. Porque el azúcar en, agorda, engorda. Pero con el gimnasio no iba. Pero también con el gimnasio. Y voy al gimnasio y, y ya no tomo nada de azúcar. Sí. Y eso ayuda, sí. sí. Y, y hay gente que son débiles, agarran diabetes, pero yo no. Yo, toma, yo tom, tomaba hasta 24 al día. Nunca, y nunca me enfermé. Sí, pero ya estoy bajando. Sí. Estoy bajando y cuando lo tomo es sin azúcar. So, guys, let me sit down and relax. Drink my Coke Zero and hope that. Uh, yeah. Hope that where you, Maria, has success in this endeavor. Damn, I gotta lay my camera down. I don't know who sealed this thing. Hope she has success in this endeavor that we are undertaking because um, we need to get that done before we leave the country because we're going on a long journey for you guys on YouTube a long journey supposed to be going to India so Stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comments. Comments. I, I need more comments. I don't get a lot of comments. Guys, it's free to comment. You can write something good, write something bad. I'm happy once I get a comment. And let me know what you think. So, that's it, I think. I think that's it. No, no, I'll be back when I find out from where you, Maria, what's happening. So, see you in a little bit. Guys, it is now getting late. It's two minutes to 11. We've been here since 7 a.m. Maria's been, where are you, Maria? Has been inside the building there since 7.15 this morning. Look how the cars stop here. Everybody stops. Don't try that anywhere. Yeah, so she's been in there since 7.15 this morning. It's now 11. They're still not finished transferring one vehicle. It's not like they're doing 100 for us. They're doing one vehicle. The bureaucracy in Mexico is really stupid. Really stupid. She just sent me a WhatsApp, she's hungry, she's thirsty. But you can't even, you're actually not even allowed to use the telephone in there. So she had to sneak probably to the bathroom to send me a message. Ridiculous. You come here, this is an all day job. For the most it should take is 15 minutes to half an hour. Once your turn comes up, right? Naturally, if you got lines, you gotta wait your turn in the line. But otherwise it should be like really really quick ah man i gotta use the washroom and it's starting to drizzle and then i don't know maybe i will end up having to walk over to the mall because they open at 11 so it's almost 11 now so let me head to the washroom over there but wow Things in Belize run so much smoother than here in Mexico. Here in Mexico, it's still backwards. A 
I'm gonna walk actually I am walking back to the mall spend a little more time in there <laughs> we've been here from 7 a.m. it's now 11 a.m. still haven't been able haven't been able to transfer the vehicle yet it's like what the heck we have a facilitator who helps with the paperwork this poor guy he gets 500 pesos to do that I don't know if he's still there or once the papers go in he leaves I'm not sure but for 500 pesos if he's still there from 7 a.m. till 11 he's not making a lot of money so it is 11 the mall is open let me walk in and take a look I don't know if I'll be allowed to film in there but I'm gonna try Okay, so I passed security guy already. So now I'm in, oh man, the air conditioning is great in here. The air conditioning is awesome. Nice and cool. They got this sucker cranked up. Like you wouldn't believe. Look at a beautiful fountain. Make sure yeah, I got my camera on. Look at a beautiful fountain, that looks nice. And it's cold in here. Ah, oh, what a relief. Yeah, the malls here in Mexico are far superior than any mall I've seen in Canada or United States. Well, the West Edmonton Mall is awesome. But these here are really, really, really good. not sure if they stopped me from filming and I'm in here hey look you can buy your cars right here car dealers they've got all the US brands and others that we I don't even know pull and bear never heard of that one That's so nice man see H&M that's a North American brand. This one here, Astra, Astra, the Varios. Who knows what that is? Never heard of it. It's still really empty in here because it's it's early. It's early in the day. It's 11 o'clock. They just opened. Let's see how much past 11. It is 11:11. 11, 11. So they only been open for 11 minutes. Yeah, they got some nice stores. AC crack to the max. I like it. I've never been in this mall before. This, this is my first trip ever here. Never been in here before. Oh, here's a bigger chunk of the mall. Oh, all right, because the beginning where I got in there, it looked a little like, is that it? Oh, but here, here, here's the real deal. Look, they got Bizarro. They got, they got a bunch of stores I've never heard of. They got GNC. Over there, they have a movie theater. Look up there, movie theater. Oh, this is the ice skating rink. Whoa! Can you imagine this? This guy's is Mexico. Ice skating ring. In Mexico. Look at that. <laughs> Who said this is the third world? Ice skating ring in the mall. Holy shit. And they're actually good at it. Look at that. Wow. Third world Mexico, ice skating rink in the mall. Holy, and in the middle of summer. Uh, I don't know if it's summer, it's October. Hot as hell, that's for damn sure. So
so cool. Who would have expected ice skating rink in the shopping mall in Mexico? Awesome. Guys, that's amazing. I never expected to see ice skating rink here in Mexico. Look, look at that. They're practicing. I think they got coaches and everything to train them. That is just nuts. In such a hot place. Look, they have a Lego store. In such a hot place. Crazy. Look, even AT&T has a store here. This is really awesome. Up ahead they have Liverpool. Look, and a Christmas tree. Why not? Because Christmas is coming to Mexico. This here is Liverpool. It's, it's a rich shopping. I'm gonna go look at electronics here because I love electronics. I don't know if they let me film, so let me keep it low key. See where the electronic section is. Ah, oh, it smells so good in here. Come walking through the perfume section. I should look for a little bottle and give my sample, give myself a spritz. Something that smells good. Yeah, this is this is where the rich shop in Mexico. But I want electronics. Electronics will probably be upstairs. Here's the watches. I don't care about watches much. I got some fancy stuff though. I'm looking for electronics. Escalator. I'm pretty sure if I come in here with camera that somebody might come and tell me, oh you can't go. Pretty sure of that. So try to keep as low key as possible. I want to see the electronic section. Uh, let's see where could that be? Lots of clothes, but okay, but no clothes. I want to see GoPros. I want to see. Hey, there's the phone. I think it's Maria. Uh huh. All right, I'm I'm over across the street in Liverpool. I'll be right there. All right, you got it. Yay! Bye! It worked guys. We paid 500 pesos for a facilitator to help us get the, the paperwork and the van transferred into our name. And it's finally over. That was where you Marie on the phone. She just called and she said that she has the papers She's ready to take a ride home and go and eat. Uh, I can I bet she's in a bad mood. <laughs> you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four hours. And I was just getting close to the electronic section. Oh, I was so close I could smell I could smell the electronics. I could smell the GoPros and the TVs and uh, the 
I gotta find Salida. I'm lost in here now. Yeah, I could smell the GoPros and the, and the, all the other smartphones and the other gadgets and gear and I could smell it all. But I gotta go because she wants to go home. I don't blame her. It was a long, long journey. But we're out of here. Finally. Out, out, out. Open sesame. Yeah. Let me see if I can figure out how to get out of here. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's out here. Yeah, finally, we got the van transferred over. Took almost. Uh, we got it in. I think it was January or was it December? I think it was January ending in December. Yeah, no, it was January. And now it's October the 30th and we finally got the paperwork done. It's really a pain in the ass. Red tape in this country is terrible. Oh, music. So I'm gonna have to cut it off here. At the ice skating section. Look at that. So cool. I'll see you when there's no music. I'm gonna hate leaving this mall and <laughs> going outside where it's hot and humid. Okay, this place is awesome. Look at the ceiling. I think a lot of lights lighting up. I don't know if they have these lights all the time or just for now. Because like I said, I've never been to this mall. I've been to many others. But this this is really nice. I think I'm gonna have to as soon as then we get the Okay, where do I come out? Where do I okay I walk past the mountain there. Yeah as soon as um, we have the vehicle running, which should be later today. Gonna have to come over here and spend a few hours relaxing and looking at the stores, window shopping, eat some food. I saw there's a big food court upstairs. Have some nice stuff to eat. Watch this amazing fountain. Awesome. Anyway, guys, that's it. This is our excitement of the day here in Merida, Yucatan. I wish life would be as easy as it is in Belize. It's a lot more complicated here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Guys, I had to walk through here one more time. There's a lot more motorcycles now. Look at this motorcycles, scooters. It's just a nut house here. One parks behind the other one. They're all boxed on in. I have to show this to you. I have to come back. We got all the paperwork done. So we're leaving now. But look at all the motorbikes here. And they're all coming to get paperwork done. And they're all going to be here for four to five hours. Waiting to get the job done.